Hey guys, this is Andrew Sluter, pastor of Bible Baptist Church here in Asheville, North Carolina. I just want to do a quick video, a quick little thought that I had. I'm just sitting here. I've kind of made a makeshift desk in my sanctuary um, here because of the COVID-19 and all the kids being home. I'm not able to be back in the parsonage. Uh, it's a little too noisy sometimes with all the boys. But anyway, uh, doing a quick video because I think that we really need to emphasize more and more the importance of daily Bible reading. And it's something I talk about a lot. Some people say I talk about it too much, whatever. I don't think you can talk about daily Bible reading too much. Um, let me just make a statement. If you're not reading your Bible, you're not right with God, okay? When Paul says, until I come give diligence to reading, I don't think he meant, you know, the, the weekly newspaper or, uh, you know, your latest love novel or whatever or the NBA stats on Twitter. Uh, what we've got to understand is the Bible is the most powerful book on planet Earth, and you ought to be reading through your Bible. Now, I, uh, my opinion is you ought to get through it at least once a year. Notice I said my opinion. But you ought to be daily reading your Bible. I will say this, hands down, no questions asked, no, no, you know, well, what about this? No caveats, nothing. The most knowledgeable men that I know when it comes to the Bible are men who read through the Bible at least, at least once a year, and usually much more. I mean, the most knowledgeable men I know are men who get the Bible in them constantly, okay? The Bible says in Psalms 19 that the words of the Lord are pure words, enlightening the eyes. The Bible says the entrance of thy words in Psalms 119 giveth light, it giveth understanding unto the simple. If you want understanding, if you want your eyes enlightened, if you want to know things, read the Bible. The Bible is chock full of all sorts of material. The Bible is the greatest textbook in the world. It is an absolute gift from heaven. The Word of God is, look, the Bible says it's powerful, quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. It is the only defensive, or excuse me, offensive weapon in the armor of God. All the other pieces of armor are defensive, but the Word of God, the sword of the Spirit, is the only offensive weapon that you have. So listen, you need to be reading your Bible. If you're not reading your Bible, you're not right with God. If you're a pastor and you're not reading your Bible, you need to get right with the Lord. I can't imagine how in the world you're developing sermons without getting in your Bible every single day. I can't imagine how that you're able to feed sheep if you're not even feeding yourself. And so the reality of it is, is that we've got too many pastors that are just not reading their Bible, too many Christians that are not reading their Bible. I go into churches all the time where people are not reading their Bibles. Listen, four chapters a day or 85 verses a day will get through, you'll get through your Bible one time a year. You need to be reading your Bible. The amount of biblically illiterate people out there who are not reading their Bibles, it's, it's mind-boggling. And that's why, listen, that's why you count all these preachers that want to preach on politics all the time and dress standards all the time and, you know, soul winning all the time and separation all the time. And I'm for all of those things. Please do not misunderstand me. I'm for all of those things. But, man, the reason why you've got all these guys that want to preach on that and, you know, the, the, we, we're patriotic and they'll preach on patriotism or they'll preach on the family all the time. The reason why they have to keep it to those simple, milky topics is because they have no meat to offer their people. And, and you know, the, the, whole, the whole super spiritual, well, there's nothing more meatier or nothing deeper than, uh, than you know, preaching on the home. No, I beg to differ. I really do. I think there's topics much deeper than that. I'm not saying don't emphasize it. I'm saying emphasize, emphasize the home, emphasize prayer, emphasize all that. But also make sure you're also emphasizing other Bible doctrines. You say, well, I don't, know what my, I don't know what good it would do my people for me to get that deep. Trust me, it does wonders for them. Hey, listen, the Bible was not written. Listen, the Bible was not written so that you could have a better Monday. The, God did not write the Bible so that you could learn how to have a better Monday. Okay, the Bible was written so that you could know God and know the mind of God, at least the parts that he wants to reveal to us. It's impossible to know all of God, right? But God has given us his word to understand all the Bible. For uh, All scripture is given by inspiration of God, and it's profitable for number one, doctrine. All right? So you're supposed to know the Bible just because God told you to. Study to show thyself a pivot unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Guys, God gave us a book to study and to know and to read 
And to say that you just get through, I just go through one or two verses a day, or I just meditate upon five verses a day, and, you know, da da da, da. that sounds all super spiritual, but I'm telling you what, man, it is, ab- it is an absolute nightmare listening to these guys preach who are not reading their Bibles. I remember as a young preacher, I'll end with this, I was told as a young preacher that there are two types of preachers, preachers who read and preachers who don't. And the way you tell the difference is, listen to them preach, and my if that's not true, I don't know what is. I had another guy say, this is a very, very uh, common statement. He said that, uh, uh, that uh, there are two things that will make you want to preach, good preaching and bad preaching. And that's the truth as well. And so listen, folks. Get in your Bible. It'll, it'll do you wonders. Preach through a book of the Bible. A lot of you pastors are scared to read through a book of the Bible, or excuse me, to preach through a book of the Bible because you'd actually have to deal with certain verses. And I'm not talking about this milky, go through a whole chapter in a single, in, you know, 30 minutes to deal with a whole chapter. You're skipping over verses you don't know or don't want to deal with or don't want to study about. Man, you need to get in your Bibles. You need to study, okay? All right, folks, listen. Read your Bible. Four chapters a day. Or 85 verses a day will get you through one time a year. Get in that book. Start right now. If you start right now and read 10 chapters a day, uh, you'll get through it one time this year. Uh, I Actually, I think it, even I did the math this morning. I think it's eight chapters. If you, get, if you can read eight chapters a day starting right now, you'll get through it this year. Okay? You may be late, but get eight chapters a day. Get through it this year. Okay? All right, folks. God bless you is my prayer.